Hey Priscilla, I just saw your video for your contest. Looks awesome. Sounds like a good idea for a contest too. Really, really cool. And the prize looks awesome. It's something I've been wanting, so I definitely had to throw my name in the hat. I had to throw my name in the hat no matter what, just because it's your contest. But we're going to see if the DVD gods smile upon me. Um, so... For those of you who don't know, I am Mr. Cinema Junkie. And here's my selection for your contest. Now, I was originally going to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was going to do Tobey Hooper for a director. Because you had asked for our favorite director in a movie or favorite writer in a movie. But then when you presented your movie, your selection, then I thought maybe you meant favorite movie adapted from our favorite writer. Anyways, I was going to do Tobey Hooper, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, because I did. I thought he did a lot with a little in that movie. Um, the only thing is, is that not, I'm saving that one for Alphabet of Awesome, and I don't want to have to do it twice. Then I thought Carrie, Stephen King's at an adaptation of Stephen King's story. But then I thought I never really read this, the book Carrie. So that would be kind of unfair. Um, lo and behold, I found something that covered both. And this is what I present to you, Salem's Lot. An adaptation of Stephen King's story directed by Tobey Hooper. Or Toby Hooper, depending on who you are. I say Tobey. Um... This was a made-for-TV movie, and when you watch the DVD, you can tell where the commercials kind of went in. They kind of do these weird pauses, and then they fade back into the movie where it's like, you know, a commercial should have gone there. But for its time, and even for now, it's I think it stood the test of time as far as vampire movies go. I mean, that is, a, that is an awesome-looking vampire. I don't care. Nosferatu-style vampire. Okay, um, very sinister, very dark, creepy, atmospheric, maybe a little dated in some parts, but still very, very cool. I saw this movie when I was a little kid, I saw it on TV, and I happened to see it when I was visiting family out in Texas. Uh, the area we were in is like south of San Antonio, and back then, uh, this area was devoid of like pavement and street lights. It was very dark and very dusty. And after the movie was over, I had to walk up a hill to get to my house, which was extremely dark. I couldn't see 20 feet in front of me, so I couldn't see the top of the hill where my house was at. And then as I was walking, the wind started blowing really hard, and it reminded me of the scene that I had just seen in the movie, and I froze. I couldn't move one way or the other. I was about I want to say eight or nine, maybe. It was it was pretty pretty frightening. So, um, yeah, it, it's another thing about this movie is that when you're that young, you always count on your parents to come to your aid if something happens. You can always count on your mom or your dad. Uh, you know, noise in the dark. You know, you call for mom and dad, and they come and check it out, and they tell you everything's all right. Uh, this movie told, proved to me, it, it told me one important thing. Mom and Dad are not infallible, and they're not unbeatable. When the vampire shows up and takes the mom and dad and bah! knocks them both out, well, there goes your one defense right out the window. Um, it's full of very creepy uh, scenes, like the brother floating to the window after he's been turned into a vampire, the little brother floating into the window. Then the older brother gets turned when he's in the, uh, he gets turned into a vampire, then he raises out of the grave and attacks the grave digger. Uh, just a lot of really solid uh, creepiness here. So, this is my entry and my selection for your contest, Priscilla, at Salem's Lot, an adaptation of Stephen King's story directed by Tobey Hooper. And thanks for the opportunity to enter your contest, and good luck to everyone else entering.